August 11th, 2023 marks the 50th anniversary of hip hop's creation. So to honor rap's birthday, today we're gonna be looking at the 10 best hip hop songs of all time. Now with hip hop turning 50 years old, there have been more classic rap songs released than you can even count. So for a song to make this list, they have to be the best of the very best. Now the songs we are about to look at are not just the greatest tracks in hip hop's history, but are ones that represent just how profound rap music has been as a poignant tool of expression for now 50 years. From intricate production to mastery lyricism and songwriting to of course the thematic value these songs offer, to be on this list, List, you need to excel in all aspects of hip hop's artistic scope. Now, this isn't going to be your typical sanitized hip hop list that is just checking off boxes to make people high five themselves. So, if you were expecting this to be the same predictable list you see on Google, go to Rolling Stone. I don't know what to tell you. This list's only obligation is to honor the very best of what hip hop has to offer. So, if you are ready to see the 10 best songs ever released in rap's over 18,000 day lifespan, let's get right into it. Coming in at number 10, we got That Thing by Lauryn Hill, and when we look at the long-lasting lineage of hip-hop music, I don't know if there is a single song that has as much topical value as this track. Now, on top of the peachy beat and pulsing drums, which make for one of the most lively instrumental palettes of the entire 1990s, Lauryn Hill delivers the performance of a lifetime, breaking down so many barriers simultaneously. Through Hill's tight writing and soulful hooks, she delivers rap's greatest love song and does so without focusing focusing on the beauty of a relationship or even the pain of a broken one, but instead uses love as a framing device to pen a powerful cautionary tale about our individual work. The delivery of Hill's message is truly timeless, as her vivid storytelling puts you right in the action of the events to understand the humiliation and pain that comes with falling for somebody all for the wrong reasons. She narrates the chaos of a sour relationship from so many different perspectives, and it's this worldly view that makes the weight of the song hit so deeply. As you listen to this masterpiece, you walk away with one of the most important values any piece of art can give you, the value of your own self. No matter who you are, Hill challenges your morality, asking questions like how you gonna win when you ain't right within that force you to look in the mirror and reflect. So overall, for that thing's beautiful combination of poignant subject matter and soulful sonics, it is forever cemented as one of the best tracks the hip hop world has ever seen. Taking the number 9 spot, we have one of the most iconic rap songs of all all time with the Wu-Tang Clan's Cream, and as time has went on, after 30 years of being out, it seems like this song has only gotten better. Cream is one of those tracks that merely embodies what hip-hop is about at its core. While there have been thousands of rap songs released over the years talking about getting money, Cream is so much more complex than a simple bag chasing anthem. It's a song that explains the ideology behind Wu-Tang's desire to get wealthy, and as a result, it becomes the ultimate rags to riches manifesto. Raekwon delivers one of the greatest opening verses of all time as he narrates us through his painful upbringing. From the fear of losing his life to the financial trouble his family was going through, the chef spares no grim detail about his life and uses these setbacks to explain why he is grinding so hard. He's not trying to get money to boost his own ego, but he's trying to make sure his family will never go through what he saw as a kid again, and that is just so powerful. Building on this all-time performance, Inspector Dex verse and Method Man's iconic hook punch these themes in, and with the chilling instrumental RZA cooks up, this track isn't just one of the most narratively important, it's one of the catchiest you will ever find in the rap world. So for the lyrical brilliance and silky smooth beat of Cream, it's almost impossible to not have this song on a list like this. At the number 8 spot, we have the most lyrically dense song ever written in hip hop's entire history with Lupe Fiasco's Mural. Now, if you know Lupe Fiasco, you know him as one of the most complex writers, storytellers, and conceptualists in hip-hop's history, and out of all the lyrical masterclasses he has put on in his career, Mural is by far the greatest display you will ever see, not just by him, but from anybody in the genre at large. From the point of technical lyricism, the ability to hinge words together in the ultimate display of skill, there has never been a better song than Mural, and this is a sentiment to Lupe's genius. For 8 minutes and 49 seconds, Lupe goes on the most 
intense lyrical tangent you will ever hear in your life, and the more you soak in what he's saying, the more the faint messaging will hit you. Lupe figuratively paints a picture on this track through his vivid imagery and ability to trigger our senses through the mere power of his pen. What makes Mural all the more compelling is the fact that from bar to bar, no matter how strong Lupe can paint this lyrical world within his own head, that's all it will ever be, a lyrical mural and a figment of his imagination. Adding to the godly display of lyricism Lupe excretes through his cutthroat flow, the song is connected instrumentally through the sounds of an ominous choir that sing the same refrain over and over again, and with this instrumental and with the lyricism, it makes the entire track feel like one massive crescendo of musical prowess. So when we look at a track like Mural and its perfect portrayal of the power that can be conveyed through the art of lyricism, it's clear why it's on a list like this. Coming in at number 7, we have one of the most heartbreaking tracks you will ever hear in hip-hop's history with Make My By The Roots. Now, as part of The Roots' 2011 concept album Undone, this track is actually the climax of the entire project, but even without the context of the rest of the story. Make My stands on its own as one of the most powerful songs ever written not just in hip-hop, but in all of music. Make My takes hip-hop's core values and flips them on their head. The song isn't about getting rich or living out the American dream, but it's about what happens when you fail to chase the goals that you try to attain. What happens when the same hunger that desired Raekwon to grind so hard on cream turns sour and the roots play on this exact dilemma? Featuring Big Crit, he plays on Wu-Tang's exact ideology with the lines they Holland cash rules everything, just call it cream cause when it rises to the top you get the finer things. The tragedy of this track is that the character Black Thought and Crit are rapping from the perspective of never gets this moment where all the pain pays off. The character whose name is Redford Stevens is not left to celebrate but is instead left questioning if all the choices he made were worth it and because of all the wrongdoing he's committed while trying to chase that American dream, he should even be a lot. The song is very dark as the masterful storytelling of Black Thought and Crit really hits you right in the gut and the hollow and somber production from Questlove makes you feel like you are attending a funeral. No matter how painful of a track this is to get through, having a hip hop song that subverts the expectations of the genre by not showing the glamour and success of the rags to riches narrative that is always depicted in the mainstream and instead shows the side of the story where things end terribly, it challenges you to think about all of the people with an aspiration, with a dream, who were never able to live them out and for this very reason, for humanizing the often glorified messages we see not just in hip hop but in media as a whole, Make My is cemented on this list. Coming in at number 6, we got the most underrated song on this list, Ain't It Funny by Danny Brown and let me just be clear about this. As I said, this list is based on the sheer artistic merit of rap songs, not how many copies they sold or not how many times they've gotten played at the club, so if you have a problem with a smaller artist getting recognition, I don't know what to tell you. Go to Rolling Stone or something, but for those who can appreciate the wide scope of expression that hip hop has to offer, you will be blown away by this track. Ain't It Funny is one of the most witty and charismatic rap songs of all time while also being one of the most profound. One of the most clever things a rapper can do is put a song together that makes you feel one way based on the sound and atmosphere of the track and then ultimately twist that feeling once you realize what the actual lyrics of the song mean and there are hardly any cuts that do this better than Ain't It Funny. On the surface, the clunky instrumental and hyper-aggressive delivery of Danny Brown makes the song just a super entertaining, abstract hip-hop cut, but once you uncover the song's message, the atmosphere of Ain't It Funny gets a lot more tense. This track represents the ultimate rock bottom somebody can hit when they're going through an addiction. The way Danny Brown explores his personal battles makes for the most brutal yet honest depiction of an internal struggle ever written out in a hip-hop song. Danny cries out for help on this track because he talks about how bad his life has become because of substance abuse and how depressed this has made him but regardless of the low he's at, Danny is unable to change because he knows no other way. As you understand the lyrics behind this track represent Danny Brown's life spiraling out of control, the once whimsy delivery and hypnotic instrumentals start to represent the inner purgatory that Danny is in and as each chamber of the song echoes this realization, it only becomes more horrifying. So when we look at a track like Ain't It Funny, just like all of the other songs we have looked at to this point, it represents something so integral to hip-hop's DNA to the best of its ability. Just as themes of self-worth, rags to riches, and songs that display lyrical mastery and genius storytelling have been represented here, Ain't It Funny is both the peak of the man versus self-conflict expressed in various tracks and beyond its thematic value. The way the track twists together its subject matter with its musical nature to birth a track that is so dark shows the very best of what 
what abstract hip hop can achieve. So for all these reasons, Ain't It Funny is number six on this list. And the music video is also directed by Jonah Hill, which in itself is one of the best music videos you will ever watch. Crack in the top five. We got a track from the one and only Outkast, and while the dynamic duo of Andre 3000 and Big Boy have made countless all-time great anthems over the course of their legendary run, the song of theirs that is making this list is their 1998 track from the album of the same name, Aquemini. When it comes to this ethereal 5 minute and 19 second epic, there has never been a harder track than this. Andre 3000 and Big Boy deliver highlight reel performances where they show up to the very best of their abilities. The bubbly instrumental creates this subtle yet hypnotizing atmosphere through all of its intricate layering, but what makes this song one of the greatest rap songs ever recorded is the performances from both Andre and Big Boy. The two spar against one another as their one of a kind chemistry brings out the best in each of them. The entire song is centered around the concept of duality. From the duality between Andre and Big Boy as a pair to the duality within their own characters, the way the duo plays with this concept of twos only makes the song more intriguing from start to finish. The track emphasizes the message that things are always going to come to an end, and this includes Outkast's run, but despite the inevitable demise that we will all face, there is no excuse to not put your all into whatever you are doing, and Andre and Big Boy emphasize this. Each MC spits a pair of verses and we truly get the best out of this legendary duo. Every single line of both Andre and Big Boy's performances is a masterclass in the lyrical arts, and it seems that the better one performs, the more motivated the other gets to go even harder. The way these verses work in unison with one another is such a sentiment to the way Outkast was able to tell stories by flipping back and forth between perspectives. The way Big Boy is able to tie his entire life story together with references to Spike Lee films, Pac-Man, and Batman to the way Andre contrasts this direct and blunt style of storytelling with his philosophical and internal narration, the contrasting dynamics between the two work like a musical yin and yang. When Andre kicks his verse off with the line, twice upon a time there was a boy who died, oh my god, you know it is over, and setting up the lyrical fireworks on the back end of the song, Big Boy's brief but memorable closing verse represents how quickly he can steal a show, but at the end of the day, Andre is the one who gets the last laugh as he spits arguably the greatest verse of all time to finish things off. The way Andre brings us straight into his soul to let us know his inner psyche is unreal. The way he bounces words against one another makes for one of the most impressive rhyme schemes that has ever been seen in hip hop. And beyond this, the way the words contrast one another to represent the track's core themes of duality is just genius. I could continue to talk about this song for hours, but as it stands, Aquemini is a top five hip hop song ever. Coming in on the Mount Rushmore, we got one of the most elaborate and cinematic rap songs ever with Kanye. West's Runaway. Now, when it comes to Runaway, what do I even have to say about this track that hasn't been said already? This nine minute masterpiece is a one of a kind experience all the way from the opening piano to the closing distorted singing. The way this track progresses from start to finish is a roller coaster ride that is truly life changing to listen to. Runaway is the ultimate embodiment of what makes Kanye West as an artist so great. The way he can flip the standards of the industry upside down at any given time is unmatched and he does that here in the most Kanye West fashion. To give context, in 2010, hip hop was at the very peak of rappers using the same worn out ideas of money, power, and womanizing as a status symbol and to assert dominance over the entirety of the competition. How does Runaway respond to all of this? Ye, of course, takes away the glamour and charm from these cliche ideas and shows these principles for what they really are. The way Kanye is able to deconstruct this aspect of hip hop and also himself in the process is just so genius. He's not just given the finger to the trends most rappers felt forced to follow at the time, but also to the people who just straight out hate him and he does this in the most powerful fashion. The structure of the song makes this deconstruction so epic and the symbolic value of having a rapper like Pusha T punch these ideas in with his verse and then closing out the track distorting everything Kanye just said to show how people misconstrue what he says no matter what the message is, it just makes for an experience like nothing else that has ever been released in hip hop. So for Runaway embodying everything that makes hip hop such a powerful tool of expression, for it showing how the production and lyrics of a song can have a conversation to tell a powerful story, it is on the Mount Rushmore of rap songs. And crack in the top three, we got Juicy by Biggie Smalls. Now with a track as iconic as Juicy, 
There are so many reasons why this song earns such elite status on this list. This track is not only the most motivational and uplifting song in hip hop's history, but in the grander scheme of it all, the track doubles as the story of both Biggie's rise to stardom and prominence, but also hip hop's as a globally loved art form. The infectious spirit and one of a kind charm of the notorious B.I.G. make for a presence like no other with his commanding voice and buttery flow, and hearing him rap about what he had to overcome to reach success makes for one of the most compelling narratives ever told in a rap song. From the track's various quotables to its sample flip of the 1983 track Juicy Fruit, the way this entire song works together is truly magical, there is no other way to say it. It's juicy, you know why it's here. And moving on to number two, coming in as the second best rap song of all time, we got Kendrick Lamar's Sing About Me, I'm Dying of Thirst, and when we look at this track, this is without a doubt the greatest storytelling song in hip hop's history. While Kendrick Lamar has released a ton of great songs in his career like All Right, You, and The Heart Part 5, Sing About Me, I'm Dying of Thirst is not just his best song, but one of the very best hip hop has to offer. This song presents to us the ultimate turning point of Kendrick Lamar's life as he examines his soul and the moments that made him escape from the gang culture he was surrounded by and caused him to change his life forever. The way Kendrick goes about crafting this story makes for one of the most well thought out and structured tracks in hip hop's history as well. Each half of the song has their own identity with two completely different instrumentals that divide the cut. The first half of the track explores the conflicts that have pushed Kendrick to forever change his life. He narrates from the perspective of two different people talking about the losses they have faced and the circumstances they had to fight through to survive and ending this section of the track off. Kendrick looks at himself through the framing of the pain he sees around him. He looks at all of the tragedy that has surrounded him in his own life and he asks himself, is he even afraid of death anymore and if he is going to live, he wonders to God if he has done enough to pay for all of the sins he has committed growing up around gang life. Kendrick forces us to ask the question on if we judge an individual for the actions they committed, or if we blame the circumstances that put them there in the first place. After the emotional and thought-provoking first half of this track, the second half takes us in an even darker direction with an eerie instrumental that haunts Kendrick as he vents to us about how tired he is to see what's around him. He is sick of seeing individuals he has grown up around pass away for no reason at all, and he wants to end this cycle of pain but knows that the only person he can truly save from it is himself. As Kendrick tries to salvage his soul after all he's seen in his lifetime, we see his complete spiritual awakening. The thing about me, I'm dying of thirst, is truly a perfect song as throughout its over 12 minute length, we see Kendrick Lamar master the art of storytelling created by hip hop pioneers all the way back in the 80s. He's able to intersect all of these crucial stories into one climactic moment, depicting to us the events that sent him to change his life and for presenting the storytelling, emotion, and musicality all in one experience. Sing about me, I'm dying of Thirst is the second best rap song of all time. And coming in at number one for the greatest hip hop song of all time, we got Nas's New York State of Mind and wow. When it comes to hip hop, it really does not get better than this track. From the lyrical sharpness to the cold boom bap beat from DJ Premier, this is the ultimate hip hop song. From top to bottom, an MC has never put on a better performance in their lifetime. This entire track just flows so well as it embodies the spirit of hip hop and its birthplace, New York. Nas just does not let up on this track with top tier punchlines, vivid imagery, and a sense of hunger that bleeds out passion and desire like no other song across any genre. Nas is literally rapping for his life here, and this is expressed through all-time great lines like rappers I monkey flip em with the funky rhythm I be kicking and I never sleep cause sleep is the cousin of death. There are just so many amazing quotables, so many bars that have so much value. Nas really does not let up on a single bar on this track. Every single line is perfectly thought out and it is insane how well his verses flow. While Nas always gets credit for this masterful track, the production from DJ Premier is just as integral. This may be the greatest hip hop beat of all time. The cold beat breaks and pulsing drums give so much grit and character to the track that it truly embodies what it feels like to walk down a New York street on a cold winter night. So for Nas and DJ Premier working at the peak of their power and hunger to create a moment that simply harnesses all of the weight representing not just everything that makes hip hop so amazing, but representing these aspects at the highest level they have ever been at. 
New York State of Mind is without a doubt the greatest hip hop song of all time. So there you have it, my list of the 10 best rap songs of all time. Now, this is an ambitious list. There is no way around it. I am sure my list looks a lot different than yours. So remember, this is not the right list. It is just mine. I want you to go into the comments right now and let me know your top 10 rap songs of all time. I am so excited to see your opinions. If you have stuck around to this point, in the video thank you for watching your support means everything and if you enjoyed this video hit that like button and subscribe it is free to do and it helps me out a ton thank you for watching mr f fantastic hip-hop catch you in the next video